Hello everyone, it is Crazy David here, and today we're playing Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, I I'm not really a big fan of Game of Thrones. Like I have watched it once or twice now and then, but uh, today we're just playing it, so I get something out there and made <laughs> instead of having to play Minecraft or. FIFA or like Last of Us. Jamie Lannister, Kingsley. Yeah. My subtitles. I should mention, uh, this game's made by Telltale, and Telltale, like, makes some of the best games. Like, you know, The Walking Dead? With Clementine and a lot? Yeah. Breaker. Brought to his knees by the that men was made of by the Telltale. North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on, it's only blood. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest, we are just a squire. Oh, don't be an ass, Bowen. <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> Shh. Let him finish. Oh, he'll talk all night if you let him. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I don't hand it in. Aye. Hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What do I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. And not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach. House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. <laughs> to Rob Stark, the King in the North! The King of the King of the Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! I am from ice! Aye! Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. 
As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. I want to fight. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. I'm no, longer, no longer a squire. As of tomorrow, no. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Make it up to you. Fine, but you owe me. Owe you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Fetch more wine, scrub my armor, clean my boots. It's just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. Just do the work. We know. Shut up. And an arrogant prick. Oh, shut up, Bowen. See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in big shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming, but not by much. Don't get angry with me. We're no different, you and I. I, but I'm not the son of a pig farmer. My father had dignity. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. Or easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? Just strutting into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. Then take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. No. We have to warn the others. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no.
it's amazing. Oh. Oh, I'm back from here. Ready, boys! Shoot that one! Whoa. Shoot that one! Nothing I could do. Where's my squire? You didn't leave him, did you? What happened to him? I Speak didn't up, leave. boy. I, I didn't leave him. But I couldn't save him. Find a weapon. Quickly! Oh, God. I can kill these guys easily. Keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. All the phrase is tied up. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. <laughs> Damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. What the phrase says you have to go. You're welcome to the fucking torch. There's still time, my lord. We can both you get. You must go, my lord. By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! <laughs> With love, uh. Lord of Frey. Oh, there's the floating sword. Okay. Pretty sure that's how physics works these days, but you know this.
Iron for Mice, episode one. A pig walking. Hello, mate. Oh, God. Blood. Blood. Really? Still fresh. fresh. Yeah, oh, God. I'm bloody wizard. Never mind. That's father's car. Mate, go run. You think you should run now? I said it was tiptoeing. Tip Tiptoe. It may be common, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> oh, mother. F mm hmm. Mm hmm. Guy's gonna die to die. Long boy, there's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Is they could so? thought of something cooler. You can try if you like, and then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. No. I'll have that sword, boy. I'll have your head, boy. Come get it, you bastard. Oh, Oh yeah, I'm such a badass. <laughs> oh god. Alright, finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have. Uh... Oh yeah, go. Axe, really get the axe. <laughs> Oh, oh. It's like kill someone. Survived. Your sister. She hid. Not well enough. I tried to stop them. A 
I'll kill the men who did this. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks. Go and go power. eat some ice it's cream right now. <laughs> unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Come on. Open. Thank you, Mister. I'm hungry. Alright. And plus, my ice cream was just sitting there. Alright. Just sitting there staring at me. Leg like, cut deep. You ready yet? should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim oh it God. was murder. It was your family. I can't go. say I would have done um, any different than you. It was justice. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh no. I'm eating ice cream, seriously, we're starting that. <laughs> These are dark days, I fear. To lose the oh, Lord of this house and the eldest son through such a dis despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but fall. he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh... This might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. Oh, he did. Philip is not there. Okay. It's so odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. I imagine I'd be pretty good with a sword. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. High or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Lord, Lord Forrester. Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. 
Asha. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. I got the window. The Ironwood Grove. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. That sword has been handed down through 50 generations of Foresters. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Ah, oh, in some universe. This might help. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Can I leave now? Who is the new lord? Lord Ethan obviously. I don't know what else he why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. The White Hills want Forester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power, and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left, just as they've done before. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is... challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is, but I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Mato. Off to bed now. Hurry on.
Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He mentioned something about the North Grove. The North Grove? What of it? He said, the North Grove must never be lost. The North Grove. Interesting. Oh, no, that was a secret message. You have the Forester sword. This belongs with Ethan now. He's the new lord of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. He demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. <sighs> Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. And they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument you cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. They deserve to die. All of them. I say we fight. Ha! Listen to your nephew. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our lord. Then what's to be done? Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It wasn't it was murder. murder. It was justice! Not Defense. in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. I'm Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. The wall? You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is... is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who would defend the house? They said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you.
Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great-uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. I give him the message now. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I told Lady Forrester, the Maestro Otenguin overheard. I appreciate your honesty. But Lord Forrester's message was not meant for their ears. I'll speak with Lady Forrester, and I'll deal with the Maester. He's the last person I would trust with this information. Which is why, from this day forward, this must be our secret. Soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. <clears throat> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll be strong. I know you will. Garrett, wait! Be safe. Okay. Okay, pause the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. If we get three likes on this video, I'll make sure to post a second episode straight away. And like always, stay crazy.